and welcome to Detox Bites episode 32. Uh, today we are going to be talking about my favourite subject, maca. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, as you may or may not know, we had a shortage of black and red maca for quite a long time um, due to some kind of harvesting issues. Um, but we finally have red and black maca back in stock. Um, and we also have a new type of maca for us, which is gelatinized maca. Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the differences between the three new maca's because we do have a lot of people phone up and ask um, ask questions about those. So to save you a phone call, here's our little guide to maca. So if you're not already familiar with maca, um, maca is a root plant that grows in Peru uh, and then it's powdered and makes a maca powder. Our standard maca is actually a mixture of red, yellow and black maca. We don't know the percentage of each one, it just depends uh, kind of I think on the harvest and how much um, is put in basically from our from source. Um, red, the difference in colour is not actually the colour of the powder, it's actually just the colour of um, the skin of the root. So red maca has a kind of reddish beech rooty red cabbage colour. Um, in Peru they often call it actually also purple maca. Uh, black maca has a kind of black skin and yellow maca a yellowy skin or a kind of creamy skin really. But all of them are, uh, the powders are actually creamy that the inside of the, of the root is cream coloured. So gelatinized maca is quite new to us um, and it's basically uh, where it goes through, the maca goes through a gelatinization process um, where the starch is stripped out from the maca root powder to make basically make the nutrients and the leftovers more concentrated. So it's basically a more uh, concentrated version of yellow maca. Um, it tastes the same, it has a slightly grainier texture I think um, same smell but obviously all the benefits that you would normally get from maca, the hormone balancing and things, are enhanced in gelatinized maca. Black maca is probably one of our best selling macas, it's really really popular um, and in particular popular with men. Uh, that's because it has extra kind of benefits for men in particular for building up strength uh, we have a lot of bodybuilders actually who take black maca. Uh, so for building strength and muscle, also very good for um, fertility in men. So actually for sperm count and for sperm mobility to get those little swimmers moving. Um, so very good one for men, also good for women, but it does have, I would say, more benefits for men. And finally, red maca, which is actually the rarest of all the maca roots, um, is also probably slightly better for women. Um, so better for um, balancing hormones through menopause, for female fertility um, and is also actually quite good for prostate uh, protection in men obviously uh, but generally is thought of as better for women. Um, however, they're all good, they're all really good um, and you can find fantastic benefits in, in every different type of maca. So there's a crossover between them? There is actually, yes, there's a big crossover in a lot of the benefits of all the types of maca. Um, things like um, balancing hormones, increasing energy levels, fertility and libido in both men and women, um, enhancing mood, um, alleviating stress, all, all the types of maca are really good for all those things. So it is one that you should have in your life. So we're always gonna try and be competitive with price on maca and um, get the best price that we possibly can for you. So um, do check out all the different types of maca on our website, on the links below. Um, and please, please give us a like or we'd really love it if you could actually subscribe to our site because um, we love making these videos. And if you're subscribing, then we know we're doing a good job. Uh, so have a great day and we'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching.